It's official. There are now 7 billion people on Earth. And projections show we'll top 8 billion in just 12 years from now. What's going on? How did we get here? Well, to understand population growth, we should really start at the beginning. Turns out it took all of human history, about 50,000 years, up to the year 1800 to reach the first billion inhabitants. But once we hit that mark, things started to move. The number doubled to 2 billion in just 130 years. 2 billion became 3 billion just 30 years later. It took 14 years to go from 3 billion to 4 billion, and we reached 5 billion 13 years later. You can see what's happening. 12 years later, we're at 6 billion. And another 12 years after that, we've reached 7 billion. What is surprising is that over the past 50 years, the actual growth rate has slowed. Yet the size of the world's population continues to rise. So how can both things be happening? To find the answer, we have to go back a few hundred years. Profound changes were happening. The Industrial Revolution transformed the way people lived and worked. With improved economic conditions, people live longer. Then in the 20th century, better sanitation and modern medicine extended life even further. And family life began to change. Women's roles expanded. There was greater access to modern contraception. And more kids were enrolled in school. All this led to smaller families and longer lives. This is what experts call a demographic transition that marks the shift in birth and death rates. So what does it mean on a global scale? To understand global, we actually have to think local. That's because demographic transitions happen country by country. And at any given time, the world contains a mix of countries that are in various stages of transition. In the early phase of the demographic transition, both birth rates and death rates are high. These countries generally have very young populations and fewer older citizens. But as countries develop, Living conditions improve and people live longer. Birth rates, however, are still high, so population growth is still rising. Now look at countries that have transitioned even further. Life expectancy goes up while people have fewer children. But the population is still growing because of the greater number of people at younger ages. At the end of the transition, most population growth has stabilized with low birth and death rates. And in some cases, the population actually declines because there are more deaths than births. Which gets us back to the original question. Why is world population still rising even though the actual growth rate has slowed? The simple answer is because right now we're at a point in history where there are still more people living in countries in early transition with growing populations than people living in countries with stable or declining populations. So there you have it. Seven billion today, and 8 billion projected in another 12 years. Understanding how and why the world's population is growing will help nations better plan for the future and for future generations.